Hello everyone and welcome to The Order. As a man living a humble life, I know what's it like to struggle with money. I also know that many of you like PC gaming but can't afford an expensive gaming rig. No fear, The Order is here. Today we are making an epic $350 struggle gaming rig. Starting off with the motherboard, I have chosen the ASUS H81M-K. This is a board from ASUS, another favorite manufacturer of mine. It's a basic board, but it's affordable and for our purposes it will get the job done. It supports SATA 3, USB 3.0, but it doesn't support PCI Express 3.0. However, the slot still runs at X16 2.0, which is more than enough for our graphics card. Now this might look like a basic board, but it has one distinct feature. It's a supports overclocking of the new Pentium G3258. Yes, some motherboard manufacturers like Asus and others have unlocked overclocking for the G3258 on some of their lower end boards. Now in the future Intel might lock this feature so be careful what software and BIOS updates you apply to your board. The current price for this board is $51. For the CPU, I have chosen the Pentium G3258. This CPU has gotten a lot of attention in the last few weeks. It's an anniversary edition CPU by Intel, so what does that mean? It means that you get an inexpensive, awesome performing Haswell CPU with a certain addition to it. This CPU is unlocked. Yes, it's overclockable, but there is more. Some motherboard manufacturers have unlocked overclocking for the CPU on their H81, H97, H87, B85 motherboards, meaning you can overclock the CPU on inexpensive boards. Now the purpose of this CPU is to combat the Athlon X4 in the low-end market, and so far it is doing it quite well. The current cost of this chip is $65. For the GPU, I chose the XFX R7 260X 1GB version graphics card. This is probably the most distinct feature of this build. Most PC builders configure APU or IG based systems for this budget, but I managed to fit in a discrete GPU solution. This GPU offers good performance for the price and it will allow you to play all current games despite only having 1GB of VRAM. Now this is a budget GPU, you will have to make some graphics quality sacrifices in order to play comfortably. Current price $89. For the RAM I went with the Crucial Ballistic Sport 8GB DDR3 1600MHz stick. Now fitting 8GB of RAM and a discrete GPU for $350 is basically a miracle. I went with 8GB because I wanted to make this build somewhat future proof and considering the RAM requirements for current and future games I think that I made the right choice. This is a well performing stick by Crucial and it fits our budget. The cost $72. Now some of you may wonder why did I go with 8 gigs of RAM and the 260X and not get 4 gigabytes and something like a 750 Ti. In the previous section I mentioned the RAM requirements of current games. Let's look at Thief. We can see that in the recommended system requirements there is a requirement for 6 gigabytes of RAM. Future games are going to be even more RAM demanding and so in order to evade the close future RAM upgrade I went with an 8 gigabyte stick. Yes, but some may say that there is another issue that I overlooked. Besides RAM, future games will require more graphics power. How do I reply to that? Well, in that case it comes down to acceptable compromises and personal preferences. I think that a slight GPU downscale in order to double the system RAM is a vindicated sacrifice and in this case the machine would have become obsolete faster if I got 4 gigs and a 750Ti then 8 gigs and a 260X. For the hard drive I went with the Seagate Pipeline 500GB drive. Now 500GB is plenty of storage for some but not enough for others but when dealing with a tight budget you will have to make do with what you've got. This is a decent budget drive by Seagate, it has a 1 year warranty and it's affordable. The cost $42. For the PSU, we are going with the EVGA 430W Bronze PSU. 430W is plenty of power for the system and it even leaves us some headroom for upgrades. It's a 80 plus bronze unit and it has enough leads for the entire rig. This power supply costs only $19 which is an awesome price for a bronze certified EVGA unit. Last up is the case. I went with the DIY PC FM08 Bluetooth Black. This is probably my favorite case for budget builds. It supports USB 3.0 and 2.5 inch SSDs. It has a pre-installed 120mm fan plus several more fan mounting spots. The color might not appeal to all, but for the cost you cannot complain. The price $22. 
This is my part selection for $350, now let's make a commentary on the build. The overall price of the rig is between $350 and $370 after rebates. For the price, I think that I composed an awesome budget gaming PC. It has a good performing, overclockable dual core CPU, 8GB of RAM, a 260x discrete GPU, a 500GB hard drive, a bronze certified 430W PSU and a decent case. For the price, I think it would be difficult to compose a better rig. Most PC builders offer APU or IG based systems for this price range. I have basically scaled down almost every component to the acceptable minimum I would recommend. You can check out this tutorial I made to see how to properly compose budget gaming rigs. And finally, I want you to keep in mind that this is a $350 gaming PC. It will run all current games but with some graphics sacrifices. So this concludes my epic $350 budget gaming PC. I hope this rig helps those of you who cannot afford an expensive PC to play your favorite games. Send in questions, like, comment and subscribe for more tech videos. The Order, signing out.